Josh Christofferson here again with another First Listener Review. And today we'll be babbling about Creed and their 20th, 25th anniversary actually of their album Human Clay. And uh, I guess, you know, they, they just got back together here this past, uh, was it this year or the end of last year? I can't, actually can't remember, I think it was the beginning of this year. They went back out on tour again and I think this is the album they were all celebrating and everything. But uh, anyway, Creed is one of those bands that for me, I have very mixed emotions about these guys. I'll explain <clears throat> before I get into this too much. Um, they're one of these bands that has like one of, an amazing guitar player. I think Mark Tremonti is like a killer guitar player. He has his own style of playing. As soon as I hear him, you know, no matter which project he's involved in, I can just, it's one of those guys, he has his own sound, his own style, you in, instantly recognize it. Um, the songwriting style, everything about him is cool. Um, the band is actually really good, really tight. Um, when it comes to Scott, he's one of these guys that I can only take in small doses. And I, I don't, I'm not, probably won't make any friends by saying that, but he's just one of those voices that I don't dislike it, but after a couple songs, I'm pretty much checking out. So uh, I never really got super into Creed. I mean, I've always had all their albums. I actually remember, uh, I can't remember who it was. I remember some famous person was talking about this new band, Creed. And uh, I wish for the life of me I could remember who it was I was talking about him. So I got the uh, you know the debut album, and I have it on cassette actually. But uh, I remember listening to it, thinking, yeah, it was good. The production was really horrible on it, but uh, it was digging it. I remember thinking Scott was a little pitchy here and there on it, but overall the uh, the album wasn't too bad. But I really noticed you know Mark's guitar playing, so I kind of always stuck with him from that point on. And the funny thing about Mark is he's. He did this with, for me, this is just my personal opinion, I'm not gonna try to like, make enemies here, but for me, Mark did the same thing with Alter Bridge. He got a guy who I can only take in small doses on vocals. Uh, he gets a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit uh, Edith Bunkery for me after a little bit. But Mark himself has an amazing voice. Like if you ever listen to his stuff, uh, Tremonti, with just him playing on it, I think, if I'm not mistaken, then Wolfgang Van Halen played bass on his first one. Um, I have to check into that. Somebody knows that for sure. Comment down below. I actually can't remember for sure, but it, I think that is the case. It's been a while since I listened to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, yeah, he's got a great voice. Um, haven't picked up the uh, Frank Sinatra stuff quite yet, but anyway, back to back to Creed. Now, this album, I remember getting it, listening to it, and I remember th back then when I first got it, I was like, yeah, there's some cool songs on there. Um, Definitely like the guitar playing, just always, all the guitar playing is killer, but you know, I just remember thinking back then, you know, Scott is just like, doesn't just do it for me with the melodies, you know, and he's got that thing they call the Yarl, I'm sure you've heard that before, and uh, <clears throat> it works sometimes, and there's other times where it just, I don't know, just leaves, not, that's not bad, it just doesn't do anything for me, it's just kind of boring for me, so that's just my personal take on it, but the reason I picked this up, excuse me, I didn't mean to keep doing it, I got morning voice here going on, but uh, uh, I was really interested in the live disc because I got the, uh, the digital version of this here. And uh, so I first thing I did, that's what I always do, I go to the bonus or the live or whatever it is, and I, I was checking out the live. And uh, pretty much um, what I expected, although a little bit better, I'm going to be honest. I, anything I've ever heard from Creed, um, you know, live, Scott's always been a little bit off <laughs> singing, so I know he went through some rough times there, so maybe, you know, there, the, everything I had heard before was rough, but this sounded pretty good. Um, he's the, he was actually sounded pretty decent, you know, there's a couple spots here and there, but it's live, and that's what you're gonna get, and that's what I like about live albums. I don't like live albums that have been fixed, so I don't know if any of that was done on here, but uh, he actually sounded pretty good on this. Um, the energy was there. There was one song, I can't remember which one it was here, but uh, he made a little comment at the end of it, said, oh crap, I need to catch my breath, so. And that was one of the more powerful ones. I can't remember which one it was now. I think it was Say I, but um, I don't know. If you listen to it again, remind me which one it was, but. And then, uh, the other thing I noticed about this, is they have a lot of mellow songs that are they're pop, more popular songs, and they did like several in a row, and the energy level kind of dropped quite a bit there when they did that, but um, other than that, you know, they sounded pretty good on here. Uh, this one little footnote is the song, My Own Prison. I don't think I've ever heard a version of that where the chorus comes, and it's ever, it, it's always sounded 
Every version I've ever heard has sounded off key, so I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, or just my ears playing tricks, like it's an audio illusion or what, but even this one, and I'm pretty sure it was Mark singing background vocals on it, and it still sounded like it was out of pitch, so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's just my ears, but other than that, it was pretty good. The bonus stuff on here wasn't really anything to get too excited about. Uh, there's a couple you know, extra songs that have been released before. Uh, young girl to whom it may concern and this is the or is this the end excuse me um, you know I've heard them before they're decent songs they're not bad they're nothing uh, you know mind-blowing but they're good uh, the cool stuff I thought was on here uh, was the, just the digital only release of Roadhouse Blues and I'm 18 I thought those were pretty cool I liked uh, the version of I'm 18 was pretty cool um, I, you know and they had a Robbie Krieger um, guesting on the Roadhouse Blues that they did there, so it's from a festival or something, I don't remember now, but I enjoy listening to that. Now as far as the remaster part of this, um, this falls into the category where I think the original was actually better than the remaster. It's not, and this is just all a matter of opinion. Um, you know, some people enjoy some of the remasters, and I can see why some people may like this better than the original, because it has a lot more uh, bite to it, a little bit more mid-range and higher end, and it's got a little bit more snap on the, uh, the drums, and the vocals do cut through a little bit more. However, I feel like it doesn't have the, uh, the bottom end that it needs to keep it, this is a, you know, they're a hard rock band, they've got some pretty heavy riffs going on, I mean, like I keep bragging about Mark's playing, he's got some pretty heavy riffs going on here, and I think it loses some of the heaviness with this remaster, so. You know, this one's, you know, some people may like it, some people may like the original. This is one of the ones where I prefer the original. But uh, all that being said, as always, feel free to leave your you know, opinions of Creed and uh, this album and what you think of, if you've heard any of this, what you think of any of it, as always. And I wouldn't mind hearing some new Creed stuff, you know. I, like I said, I don't dislike... I may sound like I was like really ragging on Scott Stapp pretty bad. Don't dislike him. I just wish he would come up a little bit better melodies, like more memorable, like some of the stuff is good. Um, even though with Arms Wide Open, their biggest hit is probably my least favorite song of theirs. <laughs> Still, you get like several versions of it. You get one, two, three, four different versions of that on here. So if you like that song, you're in luck. If you don't, uh, sorry for you luck. But anyway, uh, I'd like to hear some more stuff from these guys, maybe uh, another album or two, you know, just to hear what they got in them still. Really like Mark, so anything he does, I'm going to grab anyway. But uh, that's just my opinion. So like, share, and subscribe, and keep this music alive. And until next time, we'll see you.